magician. That's I'm right. I'm on a boat, man. No, you're not. You're at a table. All right, this is Crossfire. If this is uh, your first time, it's pretty simple. We're given a question. Melis and I battle it out for a minute or two over each one. This year, this we're year scoring. Yeah, we're keeping score. That's right. Easy wins. We've got a special guest reader, too. Intern. Let's go. Snap, snap. Let's go. Get your guy into shape here. Question number one. Daryl Hall and John Oates were a dynamic musical duo who strung together six number one hits in the late 70s and early 80s, such as Rich Girl and Private Eyes. Mm. Who are the Hall and Oates of the NBA? Two players who complement each other's style and energy. Well read. You want to start? You've trained him well. Uh, I'll start. The be arguably the best player in the NBA, Kobe Bryant. Right. Along with this perfect... He's Hall or is he Oates? I have no idea. He's Hall. He's the scorer. Brett Hall and Adam Oates. Okay. Um, <laughs> Kobe Bryant, along with his perfect, this is a perfect compliment, uh, you know, we haven't seen them a lot, Ron Artest. Kobe can do everything. Right. Ron is his, his defensive guy, his energy guy. He's already said he brings up his energy, he helps him out. They do absolutely everything on the wing. So they complement those, those each two, other. They complement each other. They take care of absolutely everything yeah, on that but court. Here's the thing, Hall and Oates, they were smooth, all right? They were smooth. That's why I'm going with KD, the Durantula. Pretty smooth. And Jeff Green. Are they, you, are you your, comparing Kevin Durant to Kobe Bryant? Your Jordan Pip 2.0. The year is down the line here. Yes, without a doubt. Though they complement each other well. I love watching them play together. Jeff Green's more of the defensive guy. You obviously got KD as the offensive uh, firepower. I think you just proved my point. You gotta love it. The, the two better players are Kobe Bryant and Ron Artest. Is it a minute? One minute. Thanks for the beep. beep. Question number two. Michael McDonald of Doobie Brothers fame first gained widespread attention singing backup vocals for Steely Dan. Which NBA player who is now in a backup role is most likely to become a star in his own right? Steely Dan. Kelly Dwyer's eyes just lit up. Uh, I'm gonna go with Ty Lawson. Ty Lawson. I know this Easy is Easy pick. It's a rookie. It's a rookie. Yes, I'll give you that. But you've seen in the four or five games already, four games I think they've played, this kid's for real. It's amazing he slipped that far. And why? I mean, I'm not a huge college buff. I thought he was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but for, I know it's his size, that was a big issue. I can't believe in today's NBA game we still talk about that. You know, 10 years ago, maybe. The guy is super fast. It's all fast. speed now, it's all speed. The guy is super fast, but you can't pick him. It's just Why? like, I just it, did. it's just like the most improved player award. You need to pick guys who have been in the year, and been in the no, league a few years. No, that's not what the question is at all. Who uh, do you have? Obviously, who Ty in a backup Lawson, role he's is... gonna be a star. I'm gonna pick a guy who's a little more established in the league, sure. and who should get a starting role, I think. Will Bynum with the Detroit Pistons. Okay. The guy's okay. A, the guy's a little beast. Uh, he, you know, he's he's just a real, real tough guy. I think he'd be perfect. You know, he's not a number one option ever, but he's a perfect complimentary player, and he should start in this. Ty Lawson would destroy Will Bynum. Yeah, yeah. You're probably right about that. In 1978, Toto released their first single, "Hold the Line," a song which preached the importance of patience and timing in waiting for things to click. Which team, which had a slow start to the season, should we expect to eventually get it together? Okay. What do you got? Thank you, intern. Uh, I think the Washington Wizards, uh, they're two and three at this point. Injury with Anton Jameson. Gill finally, you know, just started, slowly started getting in things. Crom Butler hasn't played well. Uh, guys still learning the roles, still learning Flip Saunders. I think they, they're a beautiful team when they get it going. They showed it against the Cavs earlier. Um, they're, they're gonna be a really, really, really good team. Are you done? By game 82. Are you done? The Clippers. Is it a mini I'll go with the real, real. Because we're not gonna get I'm an gonna argument from this guy. I'm gonna go with a real tough pick here with the Clippers. One and four. Oh, well, that's the- One and four. That's the, the, uh, the but typical I pick But I wouldn't, on. wouldn't worry. I wouldn't worry right now because they've played really, really difficult competition. Wait till they start playing teams that are more on their level because they've lost to the Mavericks and like the Jazz and who else did they have? Lakers, didn't they play? Yeah, Lakers and Phoenix, okay? I, I, I want to get on their bandwagon, no. but I'm not, I can't jump on Baron Davis' bandwagon anymore. I can't. You can't? I can't. You're off. You're off the boat? I'm off the boat. All right. There it is. The Yacht Rock Edition of Crossfire. Crossfire.